Hi, I'm Rashay Bouajram and I'm a Senior Research Associate and Product Manager for Advanced Targeting Systems. This video will give you an overview of how to use the ATS NGFR antibodies in vivo and in vitro. ATS has three NGFR antibodies that work in different species. AVN01, also known as MUP75, and the Affinity Purified version, ABN01AP recognize the P75 receptor in mouse. ABN07, also known as ME20.4, recognizes the P75 receptor in human, cat, dog, pig, primate, and sheep. ABN43, also known as 192IgG, recognizes the P75 receptor in rat. Each of these antibodies can be used in the following in vitro applications. Flow cytometry, immunolabeling, immunoprecipitation and resin blot. In addition, ABN07 can also be used in electron microscopy and radioimmunoassay. The NGFR antibodies can be used for immunolabeling. For example, here you can see data from human-induced pluripotent stem cells stained to show P75 receptor expression in these cells. Each of the NGFR antibodies is also available as a targeting agent attached to saprin. Each immunotoxin will eliminate cells that express the P75 receptor. This specific neuronal depletion is frequently used in behavior research and in animal models of dementia. You can scan the QR code that will link you to the scientific references for each antibody. When ATS conjugates an NGFR antibody to ribosome inactivating protein saprin, an immunotoxin is created. This immunotoxin can be used in vivo to specifically bind to cells that express the P75 receptor on the cell surface. Once internalized, saprin inactivates the ribosomes, which shuts down protein synthesis and causes cell death. Only cells that express the P75 receptor will be affected. There is no off-target cell damage. Upcoming videos in this series will cover NGFR antibodies with fluorescent tags, creating of a model of Alzheimer's disease using MUP75 sub, ME20.4 sub and 192IgG sub. Please click the link below to subscribe and follow us for the latest product, publication and promotion information. Thank you for watching and see you next time.